expect mouth-watering. Two teams at the peak of their powers, ready for a battle royal, serving as a true gauge. And a warm welcome on a fine night for football here at the San Siro. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Inter, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And playing it through. Oh, but cutting it out in the nick of time. And this is how it looks for Inter. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Alessandro Bastoni plays alongside Benjamin Pavard in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays along. Is it going to be Mkhitaryan? And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So the action continues. Will there be a quick response from Real? Bellingham. Dumfries on to Barella. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Really inventive stuff from Real here. Well, disappointing end to the move. And the keeper's in trouble. No problems for the goalkeeper that time. Well, it's a slightly wasted effort. That wasn't the right option, really. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Barella. And it's with Dumfries. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, it's cheeky! But the keeper there to grab it. Well, I can see why he tried the chip but it's a fairly tame effort in the end. Not giving him a moment's peace. And teammates around him. Martinez has someone to play it to. And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! Well, here's the replay done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well though, lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So the ball is rolling again, 2-1 the scoreline. <laughs> Alessandro Bastoni. Given away by Inter. Carvajal. He has time to play it over. And he clears it out of harm's way. Turan. Can he finish? And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Vinicius Junior. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. 
Into the advanced position goes Modric. Matteo Damian. Plenty of support here. Perfect challenge. Feeding it through. Oh, really close. Just over the top. Alessandro Bastoni. And Inter could get in behind the defence. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And fired from the flank into the area. And his header met by the post. Yeah, he did really well to get to the ball first, but he just couldn't direct it on target. Oh, nice ball. Determined defending. Tuham. Promising looking ball. Barella. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Vinicius. Really acute angle, but he kept going and trying. Well, I'm surprised he went for goal, but it almost paid off for him there. It's a good effort. Well, Inter unable to retain possession. Vinicius. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. Effective piece of pressing. Dumfries. It needs an accurate cross. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. And a chance to level it. Nicely saved. Dumfries. Well, they have the ball once more. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. And space to cross it. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now. But these fans have suddenly come to life. Over it comes. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Well, another corner following on from the last one. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. And there we have it. The first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Rodrigo. Could be dangerous. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Mkhitaryan running with the ball confidently and drawing it back and there is the goal he's found the net joy uncombined
Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? On with the game then. 3-2. What will happen next? Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline. So a throw in. Dumfries. Barella. Played into the centre. Well, they've given him too much space. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Under the touchline to what will be an inter throw. Able to skip past his man. Martinez! Oh, that's a fine save. Chalanolu on to Martinez it's got to be and missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space well that should have made it more comfortable shouldn't it but it's a wasted opportunity substitution for Real Madrid Mendy Vinicius Can he finish? Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And there to intervene. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Well, not the best clearance. And the attack fizzling out. Attack. completely mistimed and you would expect a booking under the circumstances well he stopped them in their tracks and unable to hang on to the ball that's good pressing for you Dumfries electing to cross into the centre it could be up for grabs and holding on to it at the second time of asking Quadrado he's lost the ball Juan Quadrado Mkhitaryan Henrik Mkhitaryan really in the mood today that was almost another one well he looks so sharp doesn't he just not the finish he was hoping for there Martinez and return to Chalanoru chance here and a fine stop well, there it is I'm not sure what all the fuss was about it wasn't even close in the end not a corner and maybe an opportunity for Inter to make it look even better Great defending. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Rodrigo is with Vinicius Junior. Mendy.
With Real Madrid behind in the game, a corner could represent an opportunity. So a personnel change then. But he can't keep that effort on target. And a goal kick it'll be. Well, as you can see, Inter have been in complete control in the last 15 minutes, creating lots of chances now, and you think if they do get another, it's going to be tough for the opposition to find a way back into this. Inter have given away possession. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Chalhanolu. Chalhanolu! Oh, it's a penalty! Just what they wanted to avoid, given the scoreline. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. A chance to extend the lead. And slot it home! Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Here it is again, and he makes it look so easy. He sends the keeper one way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent finish. So the current scoreline, 4-2. A good vision there. And out of it! There it is! Victory more or less guaranteed now! Well, I have to say, he's done really well here in the right place and then a decent finish that's a good goal it's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now and it will be a free kick to Real Madrid and in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through now breaking at pace potential danger well, it broke down, alas. And Bellingham. Now with Vinicius Jr. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Rodrigo. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Dealt with by the goalkeeper. Remarkable save. Yes, again. Inspirational. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. And take it away. Might be a chance to break. Defenders need to cover. The fans want to see a shot. A goal! He's dispatched it. Much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Arnautovic. Now it's Alexis Sanchez. Really good challenge. And play halted, free kick given. Cross blocked. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. It was on its way in. And that will do it. The referee's whistle means it is officially final. Inter get the victory and the three points. Their fans are going to be happy with this. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game.